I don't think there's any argument that, other than a breeder, blacksmithing is most crucial to anybody trying to survive the arc. From pickaxes to crossbows and so much more, they can equip you with all you need to survive. So if they're so important, let's make sure to give them a worthy workshop to forge everything that we need. And today, that is exactly what I will be attempting to do. But now that you've liked and subscribed, let's get straight into this episode. After laying down our foundations in the previous episode, this new build needed a lot of work. But to start things off, I needed to get everything from my beach base, materials, dinosaurs, and all. So I flew on back to prepare for what I always call the Great Migration. As it appeared, almost everything was being carried by Evelyn, so the last few bits were taken and split between both Ali and Opal, leaving me enough room in our RG to pick up and carry moss chops. Before leaving though, to help with reducing the weight, I crafted myself some flak armour, not only looking badass, but now at least able to take a beating from any attacking beasts and creatures. But everything was now gathered up and ready to go, so we got on the back of my RG, picked up moss chops and set off towards our new home. Many dinos tried to stop us, but with Ali leading the pack, I wasn't worried for now. Sabertooths, vultures, ichthyornis, all tried but quickly failed. However, my biggest issue for now was Evelyn getting stuck. Something every arc player hates when they are trying to make sure everything gets home safely. But after quickly unsticking her, we slowly approached the steep hill. But after spying a pack of Allosaurus, we bolted back down, deciding to try a different spot for now to avoid any unneeded danger. Everyone's favorite creature, second to the Microraptor, the Pego started another fight, causing Ali and Evelyn to run off again, but after dealing with that and hoping that we could move on, a Corno attacked. Everything was doing its best to stop us climbing this hill, and as we neared the top, another Corno appeared to be our undoing. It trapped us as we were now stuck fighting it, but just as we took it on, a Rex roared and was now coming for the pack so we bolted up the hill as fast as we could, and a raptor would do the unthinkable, biting Evelyn and turning her around, and Ali. So back I had to go as we were now fighting the raptor and the Tyrannosaurus, but before I could kill him, Evelyn had endured too much. But in the aftermath, as all was now calm, I realized that my entire base was being carried by her. So I shared everything out between Opal and Ali more so, and using lots of Opal's points for weight just so that we could make that final push up the hill, and with no more hiccups or anything bothering us, we had finally reached our destination. But without Evelyn, this was bittersweet. Once everything was emptied out of the two into the storage boxes, I took Ali out to survey the area, finding strange circles in the ground, which turned out to be water veins, until eventually coming back to start on our blacksmith. So started the usual building process of placing door frames, windows, walls, realizing we needed more, so heading back and forth, gathering, crafting, building, repeat until it really started to come together. With the roof done and some shelter now for our blacksmith whilst he works on the forge, adding more foundations and more room and eventually placing down the forges, smithy and any other tools that they may use. And with all of this being outside, I used the inside for a real place of storage until we had better options in the future. This was the first time I had ever really sorted out my storage properly and it felt so good to do so. All the while, heading back to base to pick up the metal left behind in the forge there, but before getting back and thinking about a kibble farm later down the line, I spotted some dodos, taming up a male and female, whilst also taming another moss chops, which luckily turned out to be the opposite gender to which I had, thankfully. So already, I had my basic and superior kibble eggs ready to start producing, once I had gotten them back to the base, of course, and having to do it one by one. However, once they were all back there and ready to start producing my eggs, 
I decided that it was time to rest as the blacksmith was now complete. Until next time. But if you'd like to see more of me inside of ARK, be sure to catch up on the previous episodes or my live streams 